By using the pen extension in Scratch, you can make your own pixel art finger paint. You code your coordinate points and you plot them with brass fasteners on cardboard and hook up Makey Makey and there you go. You can tinker with geometry. You can make triangles, you can make hexagons, you can make all kinds of shapes. Let's learn how to code this. And we're gonna start really easy by just doing the first three points. So the very first code we're going to do is going to be for the down arrow and we're gonna grab this Makey Makey hat and change it to down arrow. And then we're gonna grab the go to. I've already actually coded the pin for you so that you're already ready to go and we'll start drawing. So the pin tool's really cool. It's kind of like using turtle art. If you don't know about turtle art, you gotta check it out. So when we press the down arrow, the scratch cat should move to 80 zero, which is where he's already moved to. And then we're going to plot the same thing for the space bar, but we're going to make it make him go on the other side to negative negative eighty. So now, when I touch here, here it's moving. But you know what? I haven't set the pin down. So hang on one second. Let me set the pin down. So here's the pin tool, uh, it's here in the extensions, and you're gonna wanna drag this pin down, and we'll have it set right here so that it's down. And you can change that if you want. So now, when I go to here, oh, I gotta hit the green flag, bloop. Now, and the color's changing because they have the color changing every couple seconds. So now I can draw a line. I'm holding Earth. I'm drawing a line. You can see that the color is changing just every couple seconds. So now let's make a triangle. My Makey Makey is going off, but I haven't coded this point yet. So this is going to be the right arrow. I'm going to just duplicate this and change this to say right arrow. And I want my plot points to be 0 and 200. So it's 0 on the x-axis and 200 on the Y axis. There it goes, he's up. So now, get him to come right back down, and I've made a triangle. All right, that's it, a triangle. It's pretty cool. And I can also use a little rubber band, like I've got a geo board to see which ones I just coded. So that's these guys. Make a triangle. Yep. And I can click the green flag to start it over. That's my code. I can change the color lines. So now let's make, let's do 40 and 100. So 40 and 100 right here. We're going to make a parallelogram this time. That's my coding I want to do. And I'm going to just right click, duplicate. And my up arrow is going to be set to X is 40 and Y is 100. And then my left arrow is going to be left arrow, negative 40 and 100. So let's put Scratch Cat back here. It's a green flag. And now I can make a parallelogram. Okay, that was easy. So this isn't too hard. Now let's add another plot point. Let's add the keys on the back of the Maybe Maybe. So I already have all mine plugged in with this ribbon cable. Um, that's how it made it so nice and neat. I'll show you the back of our Makey Makey board here and all our cables plugged in um, and labeled on the back so that we can find them easily. So you can unplug your Makey Makey and still know exactly what you want to do. So now let's do the back of the board, which is going to be the letter F. That's where we're going to start. And we're going to do zero on the X axis, axis and negative 50. 
And let's go ahead and do the letter S to be 100, negative 100. And let's see what we have there now. Green, black. Let's put them down here. Now we've got F050. That's why it's important to color code these. We can go like this, and we have a pentagon. I already coded down to here. That's a cool shape. But I haven't coded this one, so let's code this. That will be the letter D. And negative 100. And negative 100. So now I can go there. Alright, let's code the letter D. So we can put this one right here. And that's going to be D. And forgot that I was just duplicating and made my life easier. And negative 100. And 100. So now. Oh! There's a cool shape. Okay, two more plot points and we'll have a star. So we need to do 150 at 100 and negative 150 at 100. And we're going to use two more letter keys. So we're going to use A to be negative 150 by, oops, not negative. That would have been a mistake. And that shouldn't be negative either by 100. And we're going to use the same code, but just go negative for the x-axis. So W and negative 150. And now we have these points. And we have a pretty cool shape shifter here. Draw on a windmill. Alright, so we need the green flag. Let's see if I can get a star. Ready? Dun, 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 dun. A star! Hooray! You don't have to stick with the shapes that we've coded. What else can you code? What other shapes could you make? Can you make your star look like a dog, maybe? Like and subscribe to get more ideas for how to use Makey Makey for the ultimate STEAM projects.